Okay, so for shits and giggles, um, I have got a slide in uh, an upcoming talk about um, Spectrum and JavaScript, uh, Spectrum being ZX Sinclair Spectrum. Um, and the slide I made is aligned exactly so that um, it could be printed on a Spectrum screen. So uh, this uh, sketch file is um, the same width and height as a Spectrum screen. I've used the font that comes from, or has been lifted from a Spectrum, um, and just aligned everything so that if I zoom in, uh, you can see, you know, I'm sitting inside this eight by eight square, and the eight by eight, it just makes rendering a little easier. Um, and I have uh, my own tools, which can, uh, where are we? I can take a PNG, and it will convert it to a, a screen, a memory, dump a spectrum file so they're called dot screen files so um this file looks exactly the same but actually has been converted to uh this new format uh which is um well i can drop it into fuse which is a spectrum emulator and it renders it now what i want to do is make this block blink okay and this is the this um Byte is the attribute data for um, this slide, really. So it's, it, it, it tells you kind of how um, the coloring works in uh, the, this grid. So um, you can see the ink and paper, um, so it can only have two colors. Um, it has a bright bit, which means that in this case it's white instead of slightly gray, and a blink is set to zero. And what I'm gonna do is find the, um, the five um, bytes that represent these five blocks and I'm going to change the blink bit to one so that it blinks and I'm going to save the file. Okay, so um, there's a couple of ways I've got to do this. Firstly, um, I've dropped it into hex friend or hex fiend, sorry. Um, so this is the file in hex. Um, it'll always have a size of uh, 6,912 bytes. Uh, this is the, um, the pixels up here. And down in the bottom quarter is the attribute data starting from here. So this is the last quarter of the file, exactly the last quarter of the file. And I've already done a little bit of digging around, but there's two characters here because we only use, uh, it's only got kind of these two combinations, white and um, uh, the two inks, white and magenta. Um, and if I take these two values, um, or in fact, these two strings, drop it into uh, JS console, and I do um, what was it, X um, to char code uh, zero. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, X char code at char code at zero, I get 88. And if I do two string, I'll get the hex value um, 58, and that is our 58 here. And if I do the same thing with the brace, um, and there we get 7b you can see 7b here okay so um, i've already kind of located here this 7b i've got five 7b's in a row um, and this should be these uh, five b l i n k um, and what i need to do is change 7b to have a blink value so this is where i go to my bit calculator okay so if i do uh, 0x7b um, there i can see the bits and what I want to do is add um, the highest byte, whatever, this first bit. Um, I could probably guess, I should have been able to guess that this is actually seven. Uh, it goes from seven to FB. So FB is the value that I want to make the bit arrangement like this. And that first bit is the one that says to blink. So I'm going to take FB and I'm going to change all of these to FB. Um, I'm not even sure if I can do that, but FB, let's try F, oh, no, FB, yep, FB, FB, it's making the file longer, that's wrong, um, I need to do like, uh, edit, overwrite mode, there we go, uh, FB, 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 okay, save, and I'm gonna, where was that file? 
screens. I'm going to drop that into Fuse. That's not going to work. Open and Fuse. <gasps> it's blinking. There we go. How to edit a screen file the really slow and awful way. I'm quite pleased with myself.